Hey, I want to make a video for all my teachers out there because it is a hard profession. And particularly what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about stress and how to help you not get burned out. Yoga Psych, ancient answers for your current problems. Hi, I'm Brett, your favorite shrink, and today I want to talk about stress. But let's begin by helping you define some terms, like what is stress? So I want you to imagine being stressed out as equivalent to being drained, exhausted, depleted. If you've ever felt stressed out and exhausted, you know that it looks exactly like this. And this is what we're going to work on, is, is how to help you not become depleted. And there's two ways that we can help you. One is I want to make sure that you stay replenished. I want to make sure that you keep yourself full. And the other way I want to help you in this video is I want to help minimize the amount of drain that comes on you in your job and in your life. So you're not becoming exhausted too quickly. And even if you are, how to help yourself keep replenished. So those are the two ways we're going to look at stress today. So I'm not going to use this video to tell you, you should go to yoga classes, you should exercise, or maybe you need to start a book club. Because most likely, it would be a waste of video. Because you're probably not going to do those things. But there are things that you're doing right now. Things that you're doing today that are helping you stay happy and healthy. And that's because we're in summer mode. But what's going to happen when school year starts is that you're going to get the gattas. You know what the gattas are, right? I got to take care of this. I got to take care of that. I got to get these grades in. I got to finish these assignments. And what typically happens in a stress environment is that as stress grows, we start giving up or quitting the things that we're already doing that are helping us stay healthy and stay replenished like we were looking at with that glass. So that's tip number one, is make sure you make a list right now, today, of all the things that you're doing. And then we got to build in your schedule as the year goes. We got to make sure that you keep those things going, that you add those to your goddess. I got to make sure I get eight hours of sleep. I got to make sure I eat healthy. I got to make sure that I'm taking time to go on a walk in the evening. Because those are the things you're doing now, and those are the things you need to keep doing throughout the year. All right? So that's our tip number one. We got to add to our goddess the things that are going to replenish us and renew us. Now, second thing that I'm going to suggest for you, you're a teacher. My guess is that your personality, your temperament is relational, that you love people. And that's kind of the business you're in, is helping people. So one of the ways I want to make sure that you are replenishing yourself is that you are in relationships, that you are with a peer, at least one peer within your school where you're going out to lunch once a week, or you're spending time after classes, and you're just sitting down and talking, talking about family, talking about lives. And, and even more than that, I want you to find that person and I want you to appreciate them because this is an underappreciated profession, right? We don't feel like teachers are really given adequate praise for all the stuff that you do. So, I want you to be the change agent. I want you to be the change that you want to create. Find a peer that you can connect with and then appreciate them. And what's going to happen is that they're going to appreciate you back. And that stream of, of appreciation going back and forth is going to be essential to keep your cup full. Now, let's talk a little bit about how to make sure your cup doesn't empty too fast. 
And, and one of the ways I want you to make sure you do that is that you create some boundaries around your job. You know, if I'm a construction worker, I go to work, I do my job. Is it hard? Sure. And then I come home. But I don't take my work home with me because there's nothing I can do at home for my job. If I'm an air traffic control agent, whatever they're called, uh, again, it's a highly stressful job. And that is what it is. But there's boundaries around that. I come home after my air traffic control job and my day stops. And then the draining stops. And maybe I can even start replenishing a little bit. But with teachers, you guys, you got no boundaries. And that's a huge problem. You got to create some boundaries for yourself when your job starts and when your job stops. And when it stops, you got to stop. No grading while you're at home or at least not till 10 o'clock at night like you've been doing. You got to make sure you create some limits for yourself, some boundaries, because that cup is going to drain. Even though it's a slow drain, you don't think it's a big deal. I'm just going to do this assignment or I'm just going to take care of these grades or whatever it may be. But that everything that you're doing is just depleting a little bit more from your cup. So you need to create some really, really good, healthy boundaries for yourself. So you're not constantly depleting yourself. The other thing along that same lines is this is 2020 or almost, there's resources out there for you. You don't got to do this all by yourself. I would say get online, get some free resources for you. Help yourself create some lesson plans that somebody else made for you. So you can cut yourself some slack. So you can take a little bit of that drain away and then hopefully rest. Hopefully get yourself recharged. So those are my tips for today. Please take care of you. Make sure that you're on the got to list and make sure your got to list has some boundaries around it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Brett, your favorite shrink. And I'll hopefully talk to you soon. Hey, I haven't told you yet. Make sure you go to yogapsych.com because that's where you're going to find these ancient answers for your current problems. Take care.